Welcome back to North Dakota Today. I'm Jesse Amit and I'm here with Kathy, a Fargo mom who is making resources and fun information available to all moms in the area. Kathy is joining us to tell us all about the website as well as some fun family activities for fall. Okay, Kathy, this is amazing. And as you said before we started talking, I, I said I wish you were around when my kids were little because mm -hmm. this is, someone always says, oh, I wish someone would do this. Yeah. Put all the information together and you did it. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> so what is on your radar here for Halloween coming up? Sure, so it is mid-October and yeah. uh, there's tons of stuff gearing up, um, mostly towards the end because uh, the Teacher conference weekend is next weekend, so okay. there's not as much going on, but once you hit that last week of October, if you want to check out our website, especially our trunk or treating events, um, we have a list of all Halloween events. Nice. We have a list of all events. <laughs> we have all the lists. Um, and there's just so much coming up, if you have, there especially is. for little kids. Well, and those things too, you know, I'm just out of the loop now because of mm -hmm. like school, you know, conferences and those things that really affect when events are, or when people yeah. can go to events. Mm -hmm. And so you are like, you have your finger on the pulse of all things we going do, on. We do, <laughs> yes. So we have an ultimate guide to Halloween and fall in Fargo is really what I yeah. wanted to talk about today. And that has a list of great places to look at fall colors. I saw you guys featuring yes. Maplewood, which oh. is a wonderful place to visit. Beautiful. Um, we're right at that like almost past peak for our region so definitely go this weekend yes um, and check out our guide if you want to do that we have a list of all the pumpkin patches within like 90 minutes of Fargo oh that is awesome like to make a day trip out of it definitely uh, we have spots for family hiking we have all the corn mazes um, uh, all the Halloween events all the trick-or-treating kind of events happening yep. um, all of that is on our ultimate guide and so I mean for fall. people who've lived here forever it's really mm -hmm. useful too but especially for new people coming to the area mm -hmm. that you know yeah I want to do pumpkins with my kids or even adults like Sophie and I that don't have little kids yeah. that want to paint pumpkins you're kind of at a loss like I don't know where to go and so this right. is a great website for everyone not just parents I know I saw they were showing some of the website before it's really amazing I, I told her at the beginning the the city should pay you or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it all works but it is an incredible website with just so much information it's kind of the the hub of Fargo I was really excited to find out about it <laughs> yeah I'm glad to hear that and I brought my uh, we have a guide on there too awesome. for all the pumpkin patches around so we thought we'd put this guide together that'd be kind of a snapshot of yeah. how far away are they what kind of activities do they have because sometimes you have little kids right and you don't want to do this challenging corn maze but you want right. to do all the the corn pit and that kind of stuff or the petting zoo or right so we put this guide together you can kind of see like where's what or maybe you just want to stick in Fargo what is around Fargo so right. I don't have to drive two hours with oh my that is really um, incredible so this is on our pumpkin patch guide too okay so and you've got to check that out yeah, just a snapshot of that coming up mm -hmm. you have older kids and you want to do yeah you can custom yep. you've already done the research yes, so you have, have saved us hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. of time um, so can you describe some of the more rewarding aspects of having the Fargo Mom website? Oh, sure. Just being able to help families in the area easily find those things to do. And then we hear from, I love hearing from local organizations and events that we shared about it and so many people showed up. Oh. And so we love that too, that we're able to enhance that community feel by sharing about all these things happening so then people can get out into their community. Definitely. And then it helps out those events and organizations too to have, have people go. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah, you said it. I mean, that's what we love here too when we hear that feedback like, mm -hmm. oh, thanks for having us on and our event did so well and we raised all this money for whatever organization. It feels yeah. so good. Yes, so definitely. thank you for doing that for our community and yeah. what a great connection we've got here too to just make that community web even stronger. Yes, yep. Okay, so website, Facebook, tell me all the places where we can find you. Yes, definitely the website, FargoMom.com, and we try to refresh our homepage regularly so then we keep all the up-to-date things. Obviously, we have a lot of fall stuff on yes. there, too. We have some day trip ideas. We have an Explore with Kids series where we feature uh, different parks in the area, different even museums, things like that, just nice. all the things to do in Fargo. Um, so definitely peruse, peruse, peruse on yeah. there. There's a search function if you want to search for anything. And then we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. 
and we share our content on there. We do a weekend roundup of events every Friday. Oh, so we wow. just snap it all into a graphic so you can see that easily every Friday on our social pages. And then we also have a weekly newsletter okay. um, that you can sign up for on our website. And same thing, we do our weekend events in there. We do all our current content in there. We'll feature different guides that we have for the community. Oh my it's gosh, you are just a gem. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is what I've just been looking for. And so I'm I'm embarrassed to say, I didn't know you were you were around. That's okay. And now that's why you I like are. To do this kind that's of stuff. right. <laughs> so we can get it all out there. So Fargo Mom, thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate all the work that you're doing for our community. So make sure you check out that website. It truly is phenomenal. And coming up on today's show, we can we can catch up with Fargo Parks. Uh, that's coming up next on North Dakota Today.